Anagram foil balloons are designed to be as simple as possible to inflate. They have a self-sealing valve and we use an auto foil shut-off inflator to ensure that they are not overinflated. Um, but there are a couple of things to be aware of perhaps to make sure that we don't do any damage to the foil balloon. So firstly, the foil that they're constructed from is non-elastic. It doesn't stretch at all, which is really important. It means that we have to inflate them very carefully to a very fine um, variance of pressure. If they're overinflated and the gas inside expands due to heat, then they will burst because the film itself won't stretch. If they're underinflated, the valve won't seal properly and there will be a leak. So it is critical that they're inflated to the right pressure and that is why we use an autofoil shut-off regulator. This piece here will sense the pressure in the balloon, whatever the size or shape of balloon, and stop inflating the balloon when it reaches the right pressure. If you use any of the manual inflators, then obviously that won't happen. So a flexi tip like this, or a push valve like this, or a trigger valve like this, are all manual inflators and they do not sense the pressure and so the danger of overinflating the balloon and bursting it or underinflating the balloon and having it leak are quite high. So always make sure that you use an autofoil shut-off regulator and everything should be fine. The valve inside the balloon is sealed into the stem of the balloon here and is just in there. You can feel it if you run your fingers across the balloon there. It's just a small flat plastic tube about that long inside and it's very delicate so these manual inflators also operate at much higher pressure and if you do use one of those then the speed of the gas entering the balloon can quite easily damage the valve which can also cause leaks. The auto shut off slows the gas down to prevent that but it also means that you need to be aware of the position of the valve so that you don't get yourself into a, a bit of a, um, a problem thinking that it's not inflating because the valve is bent over at this point so you always need to keep the valve straight and either support the balloon point it downwards whatever it is just make sure that valve is in a straight line with your regulator and everything should be fine so i'm going to turn the gas on the entry to the balloon is here in this hole here and you just put the tip of your regulator into there and push it past that first sealed part of the balloon. Just open up the valve and then grip it nice and tightly so that all of the gas goes into the balloon, none of it comes back at you because that is wasting gas and therefore wasting money. So hold it nice and tight, pull back on the tip and the gas will flow into the balloon and when the balloon is full it shuts off automatically and seals itself. It's that simple. And this will apply to whatever size or shape of balloon you're using, with the exception of orbs and crystal clears. And we will look at the way to inflate those in another video. Now we need to attach the balloon to the ribbon. And to do that, I have a particular method that works for me. And if you can perfect it, it's very fast and very neat and tidy and very strong. Basically it's a slip knot. So I hold the ribbon like this across one hand so I've got a nice tail, let it hang down and then hold it there so I have a loop. And then put two fingers through the loop and turn that loop back on itself to create a slip knot like that. And that's where the tail of the balloon goes. Sometimes the tails on the balloons are quite long, so you may want to fold them in half first to shorten them, then tuck them through the slip knot, fold it again, hold it firmly here and pull down on these two nice and tight to tighten the slip knot up. And that is, to me, the best and most efficient and quickest way of attaching your balloon to the ribbon. 
when you've got it attached, simple curl. And always remember to attach your balloon to a weight. Um, this is quite a heavy weight for a single balloon, small plastic weights, all sorts of different weights exist. But every helium filled balloon should be attached to a weight to prevent it escaping into the environment. And it is really as simple as that. Now I'm just going to use this super shape here as an example of some of the variations. Um, most balloons, the entry point, the inflation point, will be in the tail of the balloon. But just occasionally, some of them have an inflation point somewhere else. So in this case, with this lion, you would expect the tail here to be where you inflate, but it isn't. And that's for engineering reasons, the valve won't fit or something along those lines. So what we have here is just a tab to tie the balloon to and the valve opening is somewhere else. So you sometimes need to look at your balloon carefully to work out where the inflation point is. Don't always assume that it's going to be in the tail. And in this case, it's just here, in the side of the lion's mane. But it still works in exactly the same way. Push it in there, open up your valve. Make sure the valve is straight. Inflate the balloon. And it stops when it's full. And then attach it to the ribbon in the same way. Slip knot, tail, pull. And that's it. It's that simple. All four balloons will behave in the same way.